Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase push notifications. You can see that the Firebase has migrated from the legacy FCM APIs to the HTTP V1. So what exactly we have to do? In this video, we are going to learn how to send the push notifications via the assess token because they have changed the method. Okay, so I'm going to make the full fledged things that how you can send the Firebase push notifications to your applications, right? So let's see those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video let's get started so commenting on my video will help you to generate the ss token i will then show you the exactly what exactly the code is okay so basically first of all we let you know that what migrate from the legacy fcm api to http v1 so here you can see that they have will remove from the June 21, 2024. If I just create a new account, then it's not available. If I go with the Firebase, okay, so here I'm going to log in with the Firebase console. And here you can see the switch any new account. I'm going to make it like this account. Okay, let me go to the Firebase with this account. So if I go with the, any of the ad project, Okay, so here I'm going to add the test project. Testing, we will make it continue. Depends on to you, then continue. Select the account, default Firebase, create project. So those who are creating a new project, then this issue will arise. So they have suggested the method also, like how we can do that. I'll let you know. So first of all, let's check. So this is almost done. Let's make it a continue. And here we have the new project. Okay, let's go with the web. And let's make it uh, my web, my far uh, push notifications we can make it okay and then uh, register the app so let's go to the console okay so one app is created if i go over here with the cloud messaging now here you can see that the cloud messaging api legacy disabled if i just go and just check this in the console here you can see that they are showing me the error that means it is disabled you can't do anything right so what we have to do then we are going to use the firebase cloud messaging api v1 okay so we are going to use this one not this one because this is disabled so how we are going to use this one so this for this what we have to do so here you have here we have the solution right so sending the firebase push notifications so previously the endpoint that we are using is this one correct now what we have the endpoint this is the endpoint now we have to this is the endpoint this is the project id that we have to send and this is the project id just whatever you have project id this one or from the this one you will get the project id okay so that can be replaced from here and this would be the post url after this we require the assess token that's very very important if you are not getting the assess token you are not sending the notifications right so most important that is bearer assess token okay so a short lived auth 2.0 assess token derived from the service account so here you have to drive this from the service accounts okay so let's check the another one Okay, so here we have the Node.js credentials, admin credentials, provide the credentials manually. So Firebase project supports the service accounts. Okay, and service accounts, you know how to create it, how to get this JSON file. If you don't know, just go to the service. Uh, it will, here you need, you need to go with the service accounts. I will show you. So here we go with the service accounts, right? So let's go to that one. So here you need to create the service accounts. It's loading and generate a new key pair. So generate one. So here you can see that uh, I'm able to get the 
so so we the count json file right so this is very important for generate the ss token so make sure you have to generate it okay next one uh, click on generate new private key generate the key and store one okay also uh, to generate the service account firebase console this is done okay what else we have so they have mentioned the node.js code with the help of the google auth library okay so this is the thing that we can generate the ss token with python python is also there get the ss token so i'm going to use of this to generate the ss tokens right and this is how we have to send it like bearer get ss token okay then update the payload so this is the payload that here we have to do notification data uh, after you have to make the to topic is should be not i think where is ss token okay so basically no no this one is not also i have already the code right so notification let's go our code so how to do is this is our firebase send notifications message token and this is your notification body and the title by doing this you are able to send the notification but how to generate the ss token that's the main thing right so i will let you know how to generate the ss token in the next video first of all you have to know how to create the project and how to get the service account details okay so in the next video we are going to use this to generate the ss token right so thank you so much for watching this video and please do maximum number of comments then i will share you the code base so how to generate that ss token right so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day